from the very first T-Rex fossil specimen to the first feathered dinosaurs. Here are 15 of the biggest fossil finds in history. 15. Titanoboa, meaning Titanic boa. This is actually one of the smaller critters on the list, in terms of the mass anyway. Length is another story. The giant snake lived around 60 million years ago, and its fossilized vertebrae were first unearthed at the coal mines of the Cerrejón Formation in Colombia in 2009. The extinct reptile's weight has been estimated at around 2,500 pounds, or more than 1,100 kilograms, while measuring in excess of 40 feet, or 12 meters. 14. Giant Ground Sloths Modern sloths are tree-dwelling mammals found in the jungles of Central and South America, and they can weigh up to 14 pounds or so, that's a bit over 6 kilograms. But way back in the day, the prehistoric ancestor Megatherium grew to phenomenal sizes. Now its name means Great Beast, and its size was exceeded only by a few other land mammals, like mammoths. Its fossils were initially discovered in the late 18th century in Argentina, and since then the remains have been found in many South American countries, including Bolivia, Brazil, and Peru. The creatures could measure more than 20 feet or 6 meters from head to tail, and they could weigh in excess of 4 tons. That's more than 3,600 kilograms. 13. Ostra Poseidon Magnificus Dinosaur bones found in a geologic formation of Brazil in the 1950s laid stored away in a museum for decades, and it wasn't until 2016 that experts finally got around to analyzing the fossilized specimen, only to discover that they belonged to the largest dinosaur ever found in Brazil. The creature was a long-necked sauropod with an estimated length of 25 meters, or 82 feet, from nose to tail, while standing some 25 feet tall, that's more than 7.5 meters. We couldn't find any estimates for the animal's weight, but due to the creature's long neck and tail and other physical traits, it is thought to have been a titanosaur, and there were some enormous dinos that thrived during the Cretaceous period in areas ranging from South America to Australia. 12. Diplodocus the first skeleton of this critter emerged in 1877 in Canyon City, Colorado, and its fossils have been located since in Montana, Utah, and Wyoming. Now, these long-necked herbivores are generally thought of as benign creatures, but Diplodocus could measure around 100 feet long while weighing some 12 tons, or nearly 11,000 kilograms, and it had a deadly 20-foot-long tail that's more than 6 meters, and some experts believe it could be cracked like a whip at hypersonic speeds. Now it likely needed that weapon to keep predators like Allosaurus in line. 11. Shastasaurus Ichthyosaurs were also known as fish lizards, and could grow to some very impressive sizes. But measuring some 69 feet long, or 21 meters, and weighing about 75 tons, around 68,000 kilograms, Shastasaurus was the biggest of the lot, and is the largest marine reptile discovered to date. It must have been an adventurous critter as well, because its fossils have turned up in China, Canada, and the US. It is in fact named after California's Mount Shasta, a potentially active volcano. They live during the late Triassic more than 200 million years ago. 10. Megalodon Its name translates to Big Tooth, and that is a very good name for this big shark that died out around two and a half million years ago. Its teeth could measure more than seven inches long at 18 centimeters. The animal's description was actually based on its fossilized teeth found in 1843. The legendary shark really got around as well, with its fossils turning up in the Americas, Europe, Africa, and Australia, among other locations. Now, based on its teeth and some fossilized vertebrae, the monster fish is thought to have measured up to 60 feet long, that's about 18 meters, and it could have weighed around 65 tons, or 59,000 kilograms. 9. Hornless Rhino Paraceratherium was one of the largest creatures that ever stomped across the face of the Earth. The fossils have been located from China to the Balkans, where they first appeared around 34 million years ago. Now, its size notwithstanding, this prehistoric rhino was notable for another feature, or lack thereof, because it had no horn. But it did have plenty of weight to throw around, tipping the scales at some 44,000 pounds, or 20,000 kilograms. At the shoulder, it would have stood nearly 16 feet, or 4.8 meters high, and measured more than 
than 24 feet long, that's about seven and a half meters. Descriptions pieced together by experts indicate that the animal would have had physical characteristics similar to an elephant, and that includes pillar-like legs, tusks, and even a prehensile proboscis. They died out more than 20 million years ago, but the exact cause of their extinction, well, that is still unknown. 8. Leviathan Melvilli now, This beast was known for Leviathan, that huge sea monster fist referenced in the Old Testament, as well as for Herman Melville, the author of Moby Dick. In 2008, its fossils were initially discovered in Peru and dated to around 10 million years old. Now, this creature was a marine mammal that is an extinct genus of sperm whale. At around 57 feet long, or more than 17 meters, and weighing more than 60 tons, or in excess of 54,000 and kilograms, this would have been one of the largest apex predators of all time, and it had the largest known tooth, excluding tusks, of any animal, and they measured more than 14 inches long, that's about 36 centimeters. 7. Asian Straight Tusked Elephant now, it shouldn't be much of a surprise that one of the largest critters on a list happens to be an elephant. The Asian straight tusked elephant, or Paleoloxodon, inhabited Asia, ranging from India to Japan. Now, while we could not find where a complete skeleton of this animal has been reconstructed, experts have devised estimates of its size. Now, judging from a partial skeleton that was unearthed in India around 1905, a total shoulder height of around 15 feet, or 4.5 meters, was estimated for that individual. A volumetric analysis of thigh bones found at a different location yielded estimates that were actually larger, indicating that that creature had a height of more than 17 feet, or just over 5 meters, and it would have weighed more than 48,000 pounds, or nearly 22,000 kilograms. 6. Spinosaurus The first described specimens of this enormous theropod were unearthed in 1912 at the Baharia Formation in Egypt. Its genus and species were assigned three years later. Now, even from the start, this animal has been listed as one of the longest and largest of theropod dinosaurs, with estimated measurements of 49 feet or 15 meters. But estimates of its weight have varied widely over the years, with numbers ranging from 13,000 to 46,000 pounds. That would be about 5,900 to just under 21,000 kilograms. 5. Big First Dino Fossil Find Megalosaurus was a large carnivorous theropod that existed around 166 million years ago. But it really made some news in 1824, that's AD. That is when the animals were officially validated as the first non-avian dinosaur genus. But the earliest fossils of these critters were uncovered in the 17th century in the UK, when part of a femur was misidentified as belonging to a biblical giant. Now that trend of misidentification continued into the early 19th century, when the animals were thought to be huge lizards that measured some 20 meters or 66 feet long. Later, naturalists were able to better estimate that Megalosaurus was a strong muscular theropod that measured about 6 meters or 20 feet long and weighed more more than a ton. 4. Sinosauropteryx When we talk about the biggest fossil finds here, we are not just talking about sheer mass or length, because while this particular creature was a theropod dinosaur, it weighed all of 1.21 pounds, or just over half a kilogram, and it would have measured about 3.5 feet long, or just over a meter. Its size notwithstanding, paleontologists considered this to be a huge discovery, because it was the first dino fossil specimen outside of birds and the ilk to be found with evidence of feathers. 3. The Dino Bed Kind of as a follow-up to the preceding critter, let's talk a bit about Archaeopteryx. It's commonly referred to as the Dino Bird, because experts describe it either as a bird-like dinosaur or as a dinosaur-like bird. And that's because it belongs to a genus of creatures that represent a transitional form between non-avian feathered dinosaurs to contemporary birds. Now, in fact, this animal was only about the size of a present-day raven. Its fossils come from a limestone quarry in Germany and are unusually well-preserved. This animal was actually named from an isolated feather in 1861. 
2. Argentina Sars. Now the name of this beast translates to Argentine Lizard, which should tell you where its fossils were discovered. Although just for the record, that would be Argentina. The first specimens were found in 1987 by a rancher who initially thought that the animal's fossilized leg was a chunk of petrified wood. Now at that same time, a huge vertebrae was also uncovered, which went about the size of a man. Overall though, not much of Argentinosaurus has been recovered, and as a result, estimates of its size have fluctuated over the years. Now for its length, we found estimates topping out at about 130 feet or 40 meters. And depending upon the source, the animal's weight would have ranged between 66 to 97 tons. 1. Sue. So while we have had some larger critters here, it wouldn't be much of a list without T-Rex, now would it? And that brings us to Sue. Now Sue is actually the nickname given to the fossil of a Tyrannosaur that was discovered in 1990 at the Cheyenne River Indian Reservation in South Dakota. Now what makes this find so extraordinary is that more than 90% of the fossil was recovered, making it the most extensive and best preserved specimen of T-Rex thus far found. Experts estimate that Sue would have measured around 40 feet long or 12 meters and weighed over 20 tons or about 18 metric tons. Now, as for that name Sue, well, the creature was nicknamed for Sue Hendrickson, the explorer who initially discovered it. 